In this video, let's have a look at how we can round numbers in Revit. In order to visualize this, we have these four cylinders with dimensions attached to them. Each cylinder has a parameter assigned to its positive offset, which will drive its height. Let's go to the family types and have a look at the round function. Simply write round and a number or the name of the parameter in brackets. The function rounds to the next integer value, that means the nearest number in front of the decimal marker. If you want to use the round function with length parameters, such as these offsets, you will have to do this differently. The round function is unit sensitive. If you feed a length parameter into it, you will get an error message. The message will say inconsistent units. Inconsistent units means that the function requires a unitless number parameter as input. It currently gets fed with a length parameter. In order for the round function to work, we need to get rid of the length's unit. So we divide it by another length, 1 meter. This will still not work, because we're trying to use the unitless result of the function to drive another length parameter. As the length parameter requires its input to have a unit, we now need to multiply the result of the function by 1 meter again. Let's have a look at how this works. Notice how the height of the second cylinder always assumes a value that is a multiple of 1 meter. In most cases, you will probably not want to round to the next integer. For more control in cases like that, let's create another length parameter and call it round factor. Enter a value for the new parameter and click on apply in order to be able to use that parameter in the formula. Now you can copy and paste the parameter name into our formula as a substitute for the 1 meter. Notice how the rounded value changes to the nearest multiple of round factor. We can easily transform that function by writing round up or round down instead of round. This should be all you ever needed to know about rounding numbers in Revit.